Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we're going to look at solving systems of linear equations using a multiplication combination rule. Remember um, in previous lessons when we've looked at the combinations, when we can combine, it's usually because you have a matching number, like 2x in both equations or 3y in both equations. When you don't have that, you can still use linear combination. It just takes one step more. So sometimes this will seem like an effective use of times. Other times it just might not. So I'll teach you this method, and then you can choose whether you want to use it or not. But Here's the way to solve it. What you would need to do if you get a situation like this is you need to change one of your equations so that they look the same. So what you're going to do is multiply one equation times two, for example. When I do that, I'm going to multiply that two times each term. It doesn't change the value of this um, equation. It doesn't change where that line is. It just will make it look like this, 2x plus 2y is equal to 4, or wait, is equal to 8. So remember all the parts there. Now, now I have an equation that has 2x and 2x. I could have also multiplied it by negative 2 if I wanted to, but I just multiplied it times 2. So now I'm going to line up the two equations, 2x plus 2y is equal to 8 underneath, and I know I need to subtract the second equation from the first if I'm going to eliminate my x values. So again, the first step is multiplying. This adds one more step to our combination method, but otherwise it's the same exact method as regular linear combinations or adding and subtracting equations. All right, let's go ahead and subtract 2x minus 2x is 0, 3y minus 2y is y. 2 minus 8 is negative 6. Remember that I need to, and this the biggest mistake when we do this is that we don't subtract every single term. We need to make sure that we're subtracting every term. Now that we know y is equal to negative 6, we can plug that into any equation. I'm going to use this um, x plus y equals 4 equation because that one seems easy. x plus negative 6 is equal to 4. Or in other words, x minus 6 equals 4. I'm going to add 6 to both sides of the equation, telling me that my x value is equal to 10. y is equal to 6, negative 6, x is equal to 10. That's the solution for this system, 10, negative 6. All right, and we solved it using combinations. Now, we could have also solved using substitution. All right, if we had just substituted or transformed this equation to solve for a variable and then substituted, that would have worked too. But we can use linear combination, even if they don't match up. So here again is, is the steps laid out for you. You have two equations. How do we do it? We'll need to change the system so that they match. Then we do, the, we do this using multiplication. After they match, you'll go ahead and use linear combinations just like normal. I'll show you another example um, here. This one here is a little bit more challenging because you've got 3x plus 5y equals 6 and 4x minus 2y equals 8. This one here, I'm going to have to do something to make both numbers match up. So for example, I could take this one. You can do this in any number of ways. But I'll take this one and multiply it times, um, let's say multiply it times 2. So 2 is going to be multiplied times each of these. 2 times 3x is 6x, 2 times 5y is 10y, and 2 times 6 is 12. I'm also going to multiply this one here times 5. And the reason I picked 2 and 5 is I picked the coefficient of the second term so that my y values will match up. So 5 times 4 is 20x, 5 times 2 is negative 10y, 5 times negative 2, and 5 times 8 will give me 40. Now that I have my y values that match, I can go ahead and, and join these two together. So I'll write them under each other, 20x, negative 10y, 40. And I'm going to add these two equations together. I add them because I know positive 10 
plus negative 10 gives me 0. And that's the whole point. I'm trying to get rid of my y values. So I end up with 26x is equal to 62, or 52, I'm sorry. 62. Learn to add. All right, 52. I divide both sides by 26, and my x is equal to 2. All right, so that worked out really nicely. x equals 2, I can plug that into any one of my original equations. Doesn't, both of them look equally difficult or equally easy, so I'll just pick the first one. 3x, or 3 times 2, plus 5y is equal to 6. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 5y equals 6. I'll um, subtract 6 from both sides of this equation, leaving me with 5y is equal to 0. Divide both sides by 5, and my y value is equal to 0. y equals 0. So this line, these two lines, cross each other at the point 2, 0. And if you get a situation like this and you're going, wow, this y being equal to 0, that was kind of awkward. Maybe I should check something else. Well, you can always plug it into the other equation and see if it matches up. Because your x and y values should be the same in both equations. So I can say 4 times my x value minus 2y is equal to 8. 4 times 2 is 8 minus 2y equals 8. I'll subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. It looks like it's going to be about the same. Negative 2y is equal to 0. I divide both sides by negative 2, and y is equal to 0. So with systems, you can check using both equations, and that's fine. But either way, you should get the same final answer, that the, the point x equals 2 and y equals 0, or in other words, the point 2, 0, is a point on both of these lines and the only point that is on both of these lines. It's the point where those two lines cross. And that's how we solve a system of linear equations using the multiplication and linear combination.